Hi, this is Sean Hurley, and I wanted to give a quick demonstration of the AutoCAD 2010 2D Parametrics and Constraints. I'm the Platform Technology Evangelist at Autodesk, um, so I work with most of the Autodesk and AutoCAD products. What I, what I wanted to show was some of the examples that have been done, um, some of them by a beta site, a Delib Daml, and uh, a final one by Jerry Ford, who's an AutoCAD product designer. Uh, they're, they're just showing some examples of what you can do, and these were just kind of experiments of having fun. Um, the first one I'm going to show is from Dilib, and what he did was an umbrella, and uh, just some simple geometry. He's able to drive the umbrella using a custom variable, just opening it up by a certain value. Again, these are just to show, you know, some experimentations of what can be done. This one's a parametric ortho views that Dilip did, and you can change the bolt bolt pattern, bolt size, um, distance between the bolts, and all those orthographic views update. It's very powerful. I'm actually going to show you, if I turn on the parameters so you can display them, you can see how busy this thing is. There's quite a bit underneath the hood there, but Dalip has really got it down. He was doing all kinds of crazy things just trying to figure out this new feature. Here's a quick sample. Simple, um, you know, flow um, valves and moving those around. They're constrained um, on the lines. Again, just something really simple. I mean, you can do this in other applications as well, but, you know, this is AutoCAD. We've finally got 2D parametrics and constraints. Here's another example, just driving geometry with constraints and uh, dimensional uh, parameters. So now, AutoCAD, you have the ability to even click on dimensions and change the underlying geometry. It's about time. About 26 years late. But it's there. It's very cool. Kind of an interesting uh, 3D geometry driven by 2D uh, constraints and um, parametrics. Again, these are just little experiments. Here's a crankshaft. And the 2D constraints you can actually drive it with your mouse by grabbing the one fixed point and driving the, uh, the shaft and piston around the crank. So here's an example from Jerry Ford. What he set up is a gasket. And by going to modifying a bunch of these parameters that Jerry has, whether it be the bolt size, gasket width, the uh, um, the opening, all those update the geometry. I remember my mechanical design days doing gaskets for heat exchangers. This wouldn't have been easy. Changing the gasket, I would have had to offset geometry and redraw the gasket um, if I were to change the, the different uh, dimensions defining it. So that's, yeah, that's it. It's just some of the fun experiments. I'll go into more depth in some of the later videos, but uh, this was just a fun one, just showing what people had done to experiment with it.